Oh yeah, we've got a mess here. <laughs> All to make this fridge fit. Well, I'm putting seat belts into it, so. Guess I'm killing two birds with one stone, but man, I'm gonna undo half the stuff I already did. That's okay. It's gonna be all worth it in the end here, hopefully. So here are the uh, same seat belts that I, I had in my Class B RV, and they have uh, they meet the uh, safety standards for uh, for using them in a RV. I don't know if you can make that out. It's FMVSS 209 and 302. Can't focus very well. But anyway, um, these are supposed to meet the safety standards. Uh, required for an RV. So the plan is I'm going to put one back here in the back. I'll have one over here this side and then another set on this side which I have right here this is the hardware that I'm going to use to uh, to mount it this is a uh, grade 8 fasteners and uh, I've got grade 8 washers for the, uh, this will be like the top, this will go on the bottom and I've got grade 8 lock nuts. So this will not be the breaking point, shouldn't be anyway, in an accident. So I'm going to secure this, uh, I'm going to drill a half inch, these are half inch uh, bolts by the way, which is I think 7 16 is the minimum, and uh, so this ought to be uh, plenty. This is going to go basically like this, like that, and then that bolt is going on the bottom, going through the, uh, it's going to go through the wood, and then go through the steel. I'm going to pick a, uh, um, for some of the uh, floor subframe, which is uh, steel, and it's a uh, I think it's C-channel, and um, that's the uh, the strongest thing I have under there to uh, bolt it to. So I've got to drill some half-inch holes, and I will show you underneath um, where I'm going to start. That is uh, that's what I'm going to be drilling through. I'm going to drill right there in that spot, and I think I should probably drill from the top first. Um, I don't know. Maybe from the bottom would be better. Go ahead and give it a shot. There's 
the bottom bolt going through the steel. I think that's about as, uh, about as secure as I can get that. I could have gone through the wheel well here, but um, I don't think it's attached very, very well. This beam goes uh, all the way across the other side, so unless it pulls through here or bends the beam up in an accident or something like that, um, I think this is about as much structure as I can tap t into um, under here. So, um, this steel is, is thicker than what's on a, uh, an E350 body, so uh, that part's good. It, And for the top, there's a uh, securely mounted. So I don't think I can do much better than that. If you guys have any suggestions or you see any flaws in this, uh, please let me know because um, I'm going to investigate every uh, little detail. I want this thing 100%. Um, if I do anything wrong or right, this right here has got to be 100% right. And I'll, uh, I'll redo it until it's done right. So um, if you see any flaws in my design or any way it could be done better, uh, if you will, please comment below and let me know. I appreciate it. Here are the rear mounts. It's going to be kind of a unsightly but necessary back here, but uh, I want to make sure that everything is uh, secured correctly. As you saw, that side was done, and this side is done. Oops, there's the uh, not for that side. So everything's tied into steel. Um, And um, did my best to make sure that part is secure. Now I need to uh, re-secure the bed frame because, as you can see, uh, I had to raise it an inch and a half for the cooler to fit. I mean, the uh, refrigerator. Think of that thing as a cooler. <laughs> and um, I've got to find a new way. I'm going to tie it into the wall by screwing right here into the wood slats. I really probably need to just bolt right through the wall, but I'll have the big old ugly bolts on the other side of the wall. And then uh, that would probably be the best way to secure it. And then I've got to tie the legs to the floor somehow, I think. That's a whole nother, uh, whole nother ball game there. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. Um, if you guys got any suggestions before I get to it, uh, if you would, just uh, shoot them in the comments, man. Let me know uh, what's the, uh, the best way to secure those legs to the floor. I'm thinking about using some kind of a some angles where I can uh, drill into the side of the uh, the legs and then drill the other side into the floor. So that's one idea. And I'm definitely going to tie it into the walls because you don't want that. That's a major part we don't want shifting in here. Um, everything will need to be secured, you know, a lot better than it is right now. I'm going to load it up with a bunch of screws and overkill, but basically I'd rather spend too much money on screws and have something come loose uh, in a wreck or something. So. That's the plan. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I guess uh, we'll uh, get caught up next time. Hey, this is Mark. You're watching my box truck camper build. and uh, Give me a thumbs up if I'm doing a good job. If not, comment below and let me know. Build it. Don't buy it.